Hey there, YouTube. P. Two Finger coming at you. Today is, uh, it's not a rant, this is more just of a commentary video. Today I heard that a channel on YouTube, which is called Will's Easy Guitar, has been removed. Will's Easy Guitar was a, he had like 90,000 subs or something. Massive amount of content. He was a very knowledgeable, very opinionated, straight shooting guitar guy. And his channel, he, he built guitars. He had a side business that was really, I, I don't know how much business he was doing. I think his thing was YouTube. That's what he was doing. He was making videos. And Will was one of the guys he kind of started or was one of the main players in the great tone wood war of 2012. Something like that. Uh, basically people on the internet, guitar guys were arguing and fighting and getting all worked up about uh, whether or not the wood that the body of the guitar is made from like is it uh, is it mahogany by solid body guitar or is it basswood um, so the debate was how much does that the type of wood that it's made of affect the tone which tone is king now in guitar player internet speak this whole community that we have become which we are in essence we're brothers and that's the main point of this video can't we all just get along is we're brothers music is one of the greatest gifts that we share as human beings deeply flawed beautiful uh, individuals uh, human beings we have music this is what we share the universal language one of the most powerful forces the only true magic that I can summon and here we are spending our lives squandering it away online behind a keyboard kind of attacking each other and judging each other and hating on each other because the one guy plays a Les Paul through a tube amp and the other guy plays uh, Squire Strat through a multi-effect modeler with a pair of headphones. Now, there's many points I need to make, but, but one of them, the, uh, at this point I'll say, 20 feet back from the stage, no one can tell the difference as far as your tone goes. No one standing at that spot has ever walked out of a gig or said, wow, that guy has really great tone, unless that person would be a guitar player. But it doesn't really matter as much as we think, especially in a band setting in a club. Now, uh, there's give and take of that, you know, we can get carried away. Gear is gear is gear. Gear is important, and it it should be embraced and it's very healthy that we have this amount of control and power that we have now and that the market has become what it's become and that paddle boards are kind of accepted that's all great but it's the general attitude that we have that this this adult male thing this alpha male thing where kind of like you have this pedal that other guy has that one you've never tried it but you're gonna say mine's better than you that's garbage this is the better you know not nothing, and then maybe a couple months later you would end up switching over to that and forget that you even said that, and then one day, huh, you know, or would that ever even occur to the average guitar player? And that's this is the syndrome that I'm talking about now. I was born in the mid to late uh, '60s, and back then it was like Heathkit and DIY. DIY. There was a Radio Shack in every downtown. And you had that community of boffin type guys that were building stuff. Uh, the Apple IIe comes along, the computer boom. We have all those guys that used to build stuff dumping all their money into PCs, where guys were building muscle cars and stuff in their garages. They were just building home computers, going into audio production, video editing, uh, video gaming, the internet, and then coming all around the sharing of the information we have, DIY coming back. Hey, I've got a tone bender, my uncle's tone bender. I found it in the attic. Let's take that apart. We're back, back engineer the circuit. And now we can, we can go and order some old transistors. We can find them. 
So this wonderful DIY community blossoms. And this gives more power to the guitar player. It takes the power away from hucksters and shills and the auctioneer voice type of guy and us being fed a lot of snake oil because you have a more informed customer, which co comes back to the point of people like Will's Easy Guitar. Like him or not, he, you have to respect the amount of work that he put in. He had a massive amount of content, and he was a straight shooter. And it's, it's a tragedy what happened. Now, was he right? Am I going to take sides? In essence, I am. The guy that he got into a fight with, I subbed his channel. And I wasn't subbed with Will. Uh, Will, I had commented on Will's channel. He never replied back. He gave me a couple thumbs up. The other guy actually was responding to me. I would type, usually I would type something witty. And I would think a lot before I did it. So the other guy, he, he always had something witty to say back. And we, like, he seemed like, you know, he respected me. I'm sure he didn't know who I was, but it's always really good feedback. Until the one time I offered a different approach than what he is selling. And he attacked me, and he relentlessly went after me, and then, like, rubbed my nose in it. Like, to the end of time, I'm never going to, I'm going to, I got a company, I'm selling this, and, you know, F you, I'm not going to listen to you. And that's the problem that I have with this community is, this false sense of the only right way to do it is my way, and every way else is wrong, and you're a chump. And you deserve, you know, shame on you for doing it different. Because this is why we have guitar tone. This is why we're talking about it, is because there's so many different ways to do it. There isn't a right or wrong way to do it. What sounds like garbage to you might be the tone that the other guy's looking for. So let's try not to be so close-minded and hate on each other. Because from where I'm standing, I remember not too long ago, there was this article, everyone was making videos on it, that the electric guitar had died. And theoretically, if I was going to say that I would look at the school bus dropping off the high school kids from school, which I don't, but those kids getting off the boys are going to have their pants sagged. They're going to have their baseball caps on backwards. And guess what's coming out of their iPod? <laughs> They're listening to Migos or, you know, whatever the hip-hop artist of the month is. Rock and roll, you know, we, we're all on the same team. Can't we all just get along? I mean, seriously, folks. When, when you get involved with greed and money, it just corrupts. And in the case of Will's Easy Guitar, you know, talking about what happened, he, he fought in that Tonewood debate, which was a big debacle, a lot of hours on, it generated a lot of content and a lot of drama and a lot of subscriptions. And people were taking sides. You know, I'm, I'm over here. They would hear the guys out and go, hmm, that makes sense, I'm picking this side. You know, I like that guy's personality more. The other guy, I don't like him. He's got a beard. Fuck him. I'm not going to, you know. So all, all of this kind of choosing sides, and then you hear when the, when the guys get into a fight, then the, all their fans are going to other sites and leaving nasty comments. And It's like we're adults. We're all, can't we all just get along? So it's really, this is really embarrassing to me, and I, it embarrasses me because I'm, thinking about this as it's happening and i'm not below it i have a temper i we all do we're all human we're all deeply flawed but the point is that we learn from our mistakes and if we do blow, blow our temper and we do make an ass out of ourselves that we want to grow and learn from that okay we want to try to start taking thinking about making a choice being aware of our surroundings enough and self-control to not fire off that angry comment and to try to take the high road when we're online and whether it's passive aggressive or uh you know you don't have to be name calling to be a dick you there's all kinds of ways to be negative and that's just what i'm talking about you know we're all on the same team we're all brothers in sound music is the greatest gift it's the only real magic that i can summon and so should we really be like at odds with each other because we are utilizing different tools again i'm all for it the technology and the tone 
and all that being a thing. It's, it's great. I was always a uh, utilized technology uh, type of musician, always. So having everyone else kind of get on the same page with me. But then seeing this, like, well, you know, it, if I had that all analog tube rig, then I would be good, you know. It's just an excuse. A poor workman blames his tools. Going back to the 60s, we were focused, the guitar community was focused on musicianship more with virtuosity. We have folks like Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, moving into technical players like Eddie Van Halen, Ingrid Malmsteen, Steve Vai, moving into this to tonal kind of thing. It's kind of a mishmash now, but the, the new thing that is a focus of the community has been tone. And like I said, it's almost turned into a dirty buzzword, like a huckster, shilly kind of, you know, tone. Like I just, ooh, I just cringe. And that ga gas and gear acquisition syndrome and all this, it just kind of makes me ill because I, I, while it's great and I embrace it, I think that rather than constantly be going to the guitar store and buying the next new thing, you should be able to get something decent and make it sound good and then move along and concentrate on writing. That's the game for me is writing music. I don't like covers. That's a whole other argument. But, you know, like this thing with Will losing his channel, I I just I can't believe what went on. I mean, it was like these guys making a fool out of themselves. And it's like you you want to pick a side. Like, I'm like, you know, like, yeah, the one guy attacked me, so of course I'm going to want to gravitate towards Will. And then I'm like, just seeing how it all played out, how they were, like, releasing each other's personal information and how low it was getting, like, both of them. You know? I mean, if I had the side with one guy, it's like I would almost side with Will because of kind of how the other guy, what he did. But I, you can never know the truth. And all of this is just, it's it's so painful and ridiculous. And then looking at the reality of it, that this other guy is setting up a business to make money. He's trying to lure people in. Like, he's the answer. He has this new audiophile quality of snake oil stuff that's all other people's work. He hasn't really invented anything. He's just made some videos where he supposedly aped these tones perfectly. And now there's all questionable stuff about him not even playing and faking his... It, it's, it's just turned into a whole can of worms. It's embarrassing. So I, I can't honestly choose a side and say I feel good about any of it. I feel, I feel really bad for Will, but, you know... I mean, I, I can't review the first situation and say, oh, well, he shouldn't have spoke up. You know, there was all kinds of attacks and stuff going on. It was just insane what went on. And then how far they went with making videos, uh, releasing each other's personal information. I mean, we're, we're adults. It's just like, so if, if this is how our, the mentors, the people we're supposed to be looking up to, how they choose to behave, no, no wonder somebody, you know, is going to go and ask a question like, how do I set up a modeling thing for my guitar on my computer? And uh, let's say someone would go to help them out and advise them, you know, type out, you need a guitar interface. Here's some links. Uh, here's the software. Here's some link. And while you're doing that, people are popping in. A tube amp's always going to sound better <laughs> while modeling, uh, you know, all this. Like, the thread is started by a guy who asked for help to set up a modeler, and you got guitar players jumping and attacking the guy who's taking his time to help him do it. And that guy was me. And I have tube amps here. I build amps. I... I build pedals like I, you know, I'm not a goof. I know what tube breakup sounds like, and I own tube amps. I listen to my music through tube amps. I love tube amps. But I can't crank them up in my apartment, so I use modeling. I can't play them at the woods. There's no AC outlets on a tree. 
So I built battery powered Class D amps. And you know, I think I think all of that type of gear gassing and attacking people online it all goes back to insecurity and we we need to make the conscious choice to try to start thinking about self-control and taking the high road when we are online because we're all on the same team we're all brothers in rock and roll so Peace. I feel like I need to apologize. I feel like I need a shower. I just feel ugh, this whole thing. What can I say? I uh, we're all human beings. We're all deeply flawed. The goal is to learn to learn from our mistakes and evolve, become better people. So, Will's easy guitar. I'm gonna miss you. Uh, We've got, we still have Scott Grove, and we still have Dave's World of Fun stuff, Philip McDucklehead, and the Ch Rob and the Chappers, and, you know, tons of other really good YouTubers to get our guitar content from. So let's learn a lesson and keep rocking and rolling. Peace. <laughs>